God bless you. We'll be right with you. Wit Evangelist Melissa Batiste. You are on with Bishop Robert Johnson and Real Talk. Amen. Tonight's topic is a testimony that will rock all that's going on in your life and let you know that God is still in the business of changing things. We want to thank God for you who are tuning in tonight. And we want to thank God for all those who will view and watch later. You are on with Bishop Robert Johnson and Evangelist Melissa Batiste. God bless you. Go ahead, Evangelist. Talk to God's people and let them know what God is doing. Grace and peace be unto you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Bishop. I thank and I praise God on today. Um, as you know, today is the first day yes. of a new month. Yes. The first day of May. Yes. And we always have our standing in the gap prayer line. Yes. Um, the first day of the month. Amen. And we had actually we have multiple states wow. represented on, on the call tonight. Wow. So um, we were able to pray for those ones. I believe um, there was a sister um, Felicia Allen that was on your first your Facebook page requesting prayer. Amen. There was also a, I believe her name was Latasha Stokes. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing their names correctly. Amen. We called out their names in yes. prayer on, on the line tonight. Yes. And we were able to get to the, the face of God, into the presence of God, and God just moved in a mighty way. Wow. And while the Spirit was moving, we got a testimony from a young lady back home in St. Louis, well, my home, in St. Louis. And she was saying how her light suddenly went off. Wow. She just lost power. And so we were at the end of the prayer, but we called on the name of the Lord. Yes. And those that had already hung up, I hope they listen to this uh, broadcast so that they can know that their prayers. Yes. Their prayers were sufficient. Yes. Because as I continue to talk to her and we continue to just boast on the Lord mm. and she kept saying over and over I am laughing at the devil yes 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 he has no victory I am laughing at yes the devil. and we begin to declare and decree her victory over this situation so she goes to her window and she said you know I know it's nothing but the enemy yes because my house is the only house that has no light no power <laughs> <laughs> And so her husband went downstairs to check, see what's going on. He come back with no report. We continue to pray. And we continue when I say pray, we continue to praise God. And and we continue to boast in the things that God was already doing and the things that He's going to yes. do. Uh, we had already set on the call mm. and, and said that this month we're walking in our our assignment. This yes. Month. And this month, we want to advance the kingdom greater than mm. even what we did last month. Mm. And this month, now, we, we we are taking prisoners. Anyone that comes to us, we're writing yes. down their names. And we're putting their names in our prayer book. So that when it comes time for us to come together as one to pray, yes. we are calling out those individuals' names. We wow. are calling them by name. Yes. You know, in the uh, for the, in the presence of God. And so as we kept talking, I told her, I said, your faith is being increased because you keep saying how you're laughing at the devil. Yes. That this thing is not shaking you up where in times past you will be wary because she does have children yes. and a family. And as we were talking, suddenly mm. the uh -huh. light came right back. Wow, up. wow, 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 and wow. It just brought me back to how, because she, she had started singing. She was singing a little hymn. Mm -hmm. uh, and the hymn was Fill My Cup. Yes. And she started singing that. And we just started just worshiping together. And when she was done with the hymn, the lights came on. Wow. And I thought about Paul and Silas. Come on now. At midnight, come on now. To sing praises unto God. Come on now. If in the midst of your storm, come on, in the talk. Midst of your trial, in the midst of your tribulation, come on now. If you would just put a mm, praise right there, mm. right God, mm. switch that thing around. Yes. 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 Yes
already. Yes, yes, yes. Fred Hammond sings a song about no weapon, but then he goes on to say in the song, the live version of it, he goes on to say, late in the midnight hour. Come on now. So turn it around. Yes, yes, yes. It's work in your favor. Yes. Not the weapon. That's We're blessed. But how be the ever, the, the proclamation was late in the midnight hour yes. that God was going to turn that situ situation around and that it was going to work in his favor. But this is the thing about our God. Ooh, yeah, you shot, God. don't have to wait for midnight. Come on now. Wait for the morning. Mm. Our joy can come right now. Right now. Our situations can be turned around right, right now. now. God is it right now. God. God. Come on now. Wait. Mm, so speak, mm. speak to that thing. Yes. Speak to that storm. Speak to that situation. And declare and decree. God has given us power. He has given us authority to speak to our circumstances. Yes. He's given us power. He's given us authority to speak to our storm. Yes. Tell that storm to cease. Come on now. Jesus. Come on now. But don't just stop there. Put a praise on top mm. of it. Amen. Come on. Just put a praise on top of it. Watch God move on your behalf. You know I mean, what? You know what, evangelist? You know what? That that reminds me, and you know what? A lot of people won't come on, daughter, and they won't ask for prayer because they feel like their lives are not lining up or they're not in the right place. But I'm reminded that in Acts the 20th chapter, to where there was a young man there while the apostle Paul was preaching. And the Bible says that he sat in the window and fell asleep. And as the man of God was preaching, the Bible said he fell out the window and died. But there's something about the power of prayer. Child of God, you can be in a dead situation tonight. As the woman of God has said, God can take your situation that seems to be dead, that husband that seems to be dead, that situation that seems to be dead. God can take it and turn it around in your favor. The Bible Bible declares that the man of God went downstairs and laid hands on the situation and the young man was restored to life. Yes. Amen. Go ahead, yes. evangelist. Yes. And that's the thing. Think about that. He was restored to life. Mm. God, that man, the man of God spoke life to him. Come on. And what we have to do is we have to speak life to our circumstance. Come on. And speak life to our situation. Don't waddle. Don't 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 plan that pity party. Don't send out those pity party invitations. No 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 yes, no. Yes yes yes. Don't have time for that. Come on. It's too crucial right now. Right now, what you need to do when you're going through a storm and when you're in a tribulation like that, you need to make sure that you take out some time to give God what is due to Him. Yes. And that's your praise. Yes. That's all He wants from us anyway. Yes yes. It's our praise. Yes. If we will speak life mm -hmm. and put our praise mm -hmm. to feel it. Yes. God gonna move on our behalf, Bishop. Yes, I know it, daughter. We have to be willing to put to work our faith. Come on. The word of God tells us faith without works is, is dead. dead. Come on now. Come on. I, 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 come on. I kept saying, well, how am I supposed to work my faith? I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But the things that I was, the grocery list that I was given God about what I was doing had nothing to do with me walking in my faith. Yes. So then I had to ask and I had to sit back and be quiet. Come on. And listen to the voice of God. Come on. And ask him, well, how is it that I'm supposed to work my faith? Mm. Because I think I'm not getting this thing right. Yes. And he winds up saying to me, Bishop, believe that I can Come on. and I will mm. work on your behalf. Come on. That's how you work your faith. And just before my husband went off to work tonight, we were talking about a situation where I had prayed for a vehicle mm. and went to the car lot. And when I went to the car lot, I saw the vehicle. Come on, tell it was goodness. And God had told me, I'm going to give you that vehicle. That's what he said to me. Mm. So I stood on it. So as I'm at the lot, young man was very nice to me and everything, Bishop. And he said to me, yes, we, um, we can help you. We'll get you in the vehicle and you'll be happy. Wow. Thank you. I said, you see that one that's parked over there next to wow. the field? He said, yes. I said, that's the vehicle that I want. <laughs> he laughed and he said, well, I tell you what, we can get you a vehicle like that one or as close to that one as possible. I said, no, 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 no. That's the one I want. I want that. You better come on speed. And he said, well, I, I can't. He's laughing. He's being as nice as he can. I know he wanted to say, what is wrong with this crazy black woman? But <laughs> he, he was very polite. Yes. And he said, well, I 
can do my best to get you something as close to that one. I said, listen, I'm going to come back here in two weeks. Mm. I'm coming back in two weeks. To get my stuff. And I'm coming to get that vehicle. Come on now. I said, now, you don't have to park it back on the lot. Come on. You can leave it right there. Come to get I'm my stuff. Get and he laughed. Come on now. And even my husband at the time uh, said to me, well, what are you doing? I said, I know what God told me. Come on now. I'm coming back to give what oh, God told me. Mm. I'm standing on what he said. Yes. Yes. So I'm standing on what he said. Yes. Two weeks later, mm. I come, I'm walking up the stairs. And the gentleman that's coming out the door, he sees me, Bishop, and he just laughs and drops his head. And I said, well, what's funny? I want to laugh, too. He yes. said, I need you to answer some questions. Wow. I said, well, how much time you need? I'm right here. I said, what you need? He, he said, come in. Come in. Wow. He took me into his office. Yes. He said, um... I know what you're here for. I said, I know you know what I'm here for. Yeah. And I see that it's still parked outside. Mm, yeah, boy, cool. He said, how? How did you know that that vehicle was not going to move? Those people had their paperwork full and complete. Mm. How did you know that that loan was going to fall through? But God. I ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that the loan was going to fall through. I didn't even know the people who had the loan on the vehicle. Wow. But what I did know. God, come on. God said that that vehicle was mine. You. And now, here I am. <laughs> I'm here to pick up my stuff. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said to me, he said, young lady, if for any reason I didn't believe in God before, I believe in God. Wow, now, wow. And I know that you serve me. Wow. And to God be the glory. Yes, I do. I need my key. Daughter, you know I what? All of that. That, that. That's why it's critical to look at the life of David. And there's so many perfect Christians who are walking outside of the understanding that God doesn't need perfection to make maturity. But what God needs are those, just like you said, who said, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say I can't have. I'm coming to get my stuff. And the yeah. problem today is we're not identifying through prayer and faith what our stuff is. But yeah. I like what David does in the 51st division of Psalms. David says, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness yeah. and according to the multitude. Watch this. Yeah. A lot of people say that I tend to mercy. But here the text said the multitude uh, and, and in other words, his mercies are, are new every morning. That's yeah. why he said, the multitude of thy mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquities and yeah. cleanse me from my sins. And then though David said, I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee have I have I only have I done this thing in thy sight. And ch children of God, let me t let me talk to you tonight as evangelist is here. Let me express something to you here. Stop letting the enemy hold you bound by what you did yesterday. Yeah. First John 1 and 9 say, if I confess my fault or my sin, that he is faithful and just to forgive me from of my sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Yeah. The Bible says that the man of God be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good work. The word perfect there just simply means to come into maturity, which is a yeah. process of time. What she's telling you is this, your faith has to be increased through prayer and the word of God. So what she's telling you is if there's situations that are going on in your life right now, trust God. How do you trust him? Through prayer and obedience of his word. Go ahead, yes. evangelist. Yes. And I, I want to go back to when you had said how, um, how David said that he acknowledged the position that he was in. Come on. And oftentimes we think that we have humility mm. when we acknowledge that, oh, I've messed up, I keep messing up, blah, blah, blah. And then you're thinking you're walking around with conviction, but you're walking around in condemnation. Wow. What you're doing is <laughs> it's stifling your growth. Yes. And you can't, you, now, 
he can't do what he yes. needs to do yes. because right now you're stunted. Woo. But if you leave going to church all started of that mm. condemnation, mm. and if you go ahead, come on, and step over into the promises of preach, God, woman of God. Here's the thing, Bishop. I don't care how good I may be on my very best day. Come on. Crossed all my teeth, dotted all my eyes, Bishop. Come on. I'm still a hot mess. Come on. Woo. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The righteousness of God yes. is imparted in me by God. Yes. I can stand firm on his promises concerning me. Woo. I don't have to walk around in condemnation. I can't I can even get to a point where I can boldly say not only will I not condemn me, mm. but nobody else can come on. condemn me. Though you slay me, come on now. Because I'm standing mm. on the promises of God. Yes. I am who God says I am. Yes. And, and you know what you know what's so funny? God in Samuel, I believe first Samuel, he talks about David to the prophets. And even before David became king, God knew the error of his ways. So then God says, if he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod. In other words, there's nothing that man can do to you because of what you've done. Because of how I've already predestined your life. So he spoke of David and said, if he commit iniquity, listen how God is talking, daughter. In the second person or the first person, if he does this, knowing that David was going to make a mistake but then he knew David was a man after his own heart the word heart there is the word spirit so he said this if he commits iniquity I will chase him with the rod then what I like daughter I like evangelist what what Peter does in the second chapter of Acts in his dissertation or his introduction with these preaching the gospel and Peter re reached back and he calls David in Acts 2 I believe 24 and 25 and he uses him as a reference from the Old Testament and then he says David said that God would not leave my soul in hell in sure neither would he allow his holy one to see corruption David spoke about Jesus and yet Jesus was not born yet some of us are going through hell and things in our life because there's a prophetic assignment that have been given to us that we're not walking in and David had to go through everything he went through because he refused the prophetic assignment written in Genesis 49 but when he came to himself whew, ya but My when Lord. he came to himself mm, yes. uh, he said now I can teach sinners your ways yes. whew, go ahead evangelist whew. yes yes and you know coming to ourselves yes um, I, I, I oftentimes run into people oh as uh, soon as I get myself together. Wow, here we go with that one. That's when I come to church. Yes. As soon as I get some things in order. Here's the thing, honey. You 40 odd years old, you still ain't got nothing in order. You ain't going to get it in order. So why don't you come somewhere where someone can help you get it in order? Yes, yes. This is the thing. You need God. Yes. And Till you put him in his rightful position yes. in your life, yes. something is going to be in order. It's yes. going to always be mayhem and madness. Yes. But all, all when you turn to God and you allow him to reside with you mm. and in you, and when you seek his faith on a regular basis, come on now. Do his will. Come on. Everything else will line up. You'll wonder why you didn't lost so many friends, but you don't miss them. Wow. You know things are changing in your home. You go home and go to sleep at night. You have all this peace. Yes. That peace that surpasses all understanding. Why? It's because now things are in order. Yes. Because you put God where he belongs. Wow. Yabo so. Things mm. that I love when you talked about the brand new mercy. I always go back to how um, the T-Mobile and Sprint talk about no rollover minutes. <laughs> Glory be to God. Come on. We don't need no rollover mercy. Come on. All I got to do is trust and have faith in God, live inside of his will, and when he wakes me up the yes. next morning, I wake up with brand new mercy. Wow. I have to have nothing from yesterday. 
because yesterday is done and it's a brand new day. Wow. So another opportunity to do what God has called me to do. To hey, yabos. That is before us. Oh, who wouldn't serve a God like that? Yes. Come on, let's come away. Fuel your faith. Fuel your hope. Fuel your joy. How do I do it? By staying in the face of God through His Word, yes. through prayer, through fasting, yes. through praise. Because praise mm. leads you into worship. Yes. If you just thank and yes. praise Him, it will lead you into worship. Wow. But you know it? Your midnight has become morning. Wow. And your tears have become joy. Wow. Daughter, evangelist, can you make sure you give out the prayer line for those who are in need of prayer? Give them the prayer line information. Okay. I would definitely, um, can I, I need to run and get that one second, all right? Amen, amen. amen. So so we thank God for you who have tuned in tonight with evangelist Melissa Batiste. And she and her husband are a major part of our ministry. They are very integral in the prophetic and the prayer anointment that we have and God deals with her in that area I mean we thank God for them because they're both jewels I mean pastors when you get jewels in the kingdom in God's house you have to reference and know what God has given you it's not good to not know what's been placed in your hands is very important the Bible said that God gave some talents and some one individual wouldn't bury the talent you can't have people in the ministry who are valuable and bury them I'm talking to myself I'm not talking to anybody else but you can't have people in ministry that God has planted there when he planted he wanted you to bring them up not bury them amen, amen. so go ahead and give that information evangelist amen it's the fuel by hope conference calling the number is seven one two four five one zero zero one one again it's seven one two four five one zero zero one one and the access code is eight seven nine two five six eight seven nine two five six listen you want to make sure you become a part of that prayer chain and because it's ordained by god if you have been abused if you have been molested raped anything have been done wrong to you misused church hurt this woman of god flows in that office to where god truly moves in her life amen that's her ministry fueled by hope amen and she does an amazing job so we want to make sure that you get on there and that you allow god to speak to your heart through whatever situation that god wants to show you that he has you in his best interest amen and we thank god for you who have tuned in tonight because it's incredible what God is doing so evangelist would you have closing remarks please yes sir a little something to ponder when you are in the position that you feel like there is no hope turn to a God that is full of hope when you are in a position where you feel like you can't go on trust in God bury yourself in his word and Seek out his will concerning your life. And I guarantee you, things will turn around in your favor. And you don't have to wait until the midnight. Wow. Be encouraged to know you're blessed. You said something that I have to come back on to before you leave off. You said yes. bury yourself in his word. Could you explain what that means before we close? Make the word where it's just as if you are how you saturate a cake with icing. Saturate yourself, where now you can't even see you. All wow. you see wow. is the word. Amen. So we thank you for being on tonight, Evangelist. God is always with you, and he truly bless our ministry, and we wanted that blessing to be a part of those in Africa, those across the world. So we just thank God for what you do. I'm telling you, children of God, get on this prayer line. God is working. He's moving. Not because it's love and unity, because we have love for Christ. The things that we do on here have nothing to do with our local assembly. But we're here to share the word of God and birth a reality in the life of those who don't think that God loves them. 
Yes, he does. He loves you. Before the foundation of the world, he had already made provision for you to be redeemed. That's why Genesis 22 and 18 says to Abraham, in thee will all the families of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall be blessed because of Abraham's obedience. So before Adam sinned, there was already a plan to redeem you and I. My book will be coming out soon, Redemption and Its Purpose. When that book is released, we're going to make sure we're going to give the first 10 copies away. Redemption and Its Purpose. Amen. From a theological perspective, with an apostolic twist. Amen. So stay tuned for that book. God bless you. We love you very much. In Jesus' name. Again, thank you, evangelists, and be blessed tonight. Thank you very much.